Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be gathering people from public lobbies that know me, and then I'm gonna uh go with them in attic, and then I'm gonna see who can build the best Lego village ever. And whoever wins, I friend them on VR. So let's get let's just get straight into the video then. Alright guys, so I grabbed some people and here they are. So apparently okay, so we got them right there. Say hi to the camera, everyone. Say hi to the camera. Hi. Uh, Hello. Hi. And if we go up here, we already got our we got our first volunteer. As you can see, it's the fake Elliot. And uh, he will be I'm the first fake. one. Yeah, yeah, guys, he's fake. So guys, uh, so audience, he will. So basically, the challenge is everyone will be okay. Never mind. I already said that in the first intro. So uh, th okay. So this guy. So uh, yeah. So basically, this guy will be is the first volunteer to um make a whole village. Which probably is going to take, like, a long time. This might be, like, an hour or something. So, um, let's begin the challenge. Alright, alright, bro, let's see how you did. Oh, oh. <laughs> I like how it's so abandoned, though. I like how it's so abandoned. I like how, like, all the all the water is froze. I like how yeah, it's a whole, all exploded ab water. Yeah, I like how everything is, like, so abandoned. So, so audience, this is his village. By the way, I by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I am I, I am allowing allow, allowing um abandoned villages, but all you gotta do is make a village, abandoned or not, still good. So, I have to check it out by just becoming small. Right, let's go. Oh. Oh my. Okay, let's I'm, go to the security bunker. The security bunker? Oh. The security bunker. Okay, this is so, where all the mochas survived. Okay, so this is the only thing that's about... Okay. So, so yeah, audience, this is an abandoned village. But it's not abandoned. There's actually a backstory because how, how it became like this. I will let him share in a minute, but I have to check this out. Yeah, so as you can see, this, this is like the shape of a house. So it looks like a house. So. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me just become big real quick. So. Hmm. Okay, so my rating for this is a 7.5. Are you ready for the backstory? Yes. No, and please share your backstory. How it became like okay. this. Okay. So, 18 years ago, when Gorilla Attack did not exist, nothing happened. Probably. Nothing happened. Literally nothing. There's nothing. Nothing for 15 years. Right now, not 15. 14 years. And then, there was these robots that came to life. You were able to change your color and stuff. And you would play tag as these robots that looked very weird. And then, eventually, they made themselves two gorillas. Once they became gorillas, they had this room. It was full of hats. And then, eventually, they took all those hats and they got rid of them. And when they got rid of the hats, they decided to put shelves and make an attic. They put a bunch of blocks in here that they used to build all the maps, and they closed it off and never showed anyone it ever again. But then one day, it happened a few days ago, they reopened up the attic. But when that hat room was there, there was a bunch of small monkeys too. And those small monkeys built a village out of the blocks that were on the shelves. But then when they revealed it again, the village was still there. So then, a big monkey named Tom and his friends, they came and they blew up the village. And then, this happened. As you can see, this is the bomb right here, the nuke. 
and there's a bunch of fire and stuff. You can pick up the fire too, which is pretty cool. And then the lake froze to death when it was closed in because there was no air conditioning. And then it blew up. And then it exploded. And all the tiny monkeys died. And here are all the tiny monkeys graves that got blown up and obliterated in the blast. They got their graves built. So one of them is right here. This is Jeffrey, Bill, Tom. Wait. Oh yeah, Tom and Tom. Okay, this is Jerry. This was Bill. And yeah, there's a bunch of graves for all them. And then, when the explosion happened, the floor got a huge hole in it. And it all fell into this cave. And we can still see Tom, Jim, Billy, and Bob's dead bodies inside caves. Let's go visit them. forever by ghosts like Daisy and I and PVV J3VO. There's Billy. Oh shit. And then there's this because I'm warning you it might happen again. And they just left it there to rot. The village just sits there year after year. There. And since all the explosions happened, all the monkeys evacuated to a brand new home. They made it so only they can enter, and no one else can enter to blow them up again. And they built a huge maze for them to live in. They live under in the cell. There is Billy. Wait, no, not Billy, that's Bob. See? Bob's right there. Yeah. He's just sitting there. Cause his bat is still alive. He wants to get out. And they also added the monsters. So if anyone does try to enter, they kill them. And there's only one spot to get down to them. And yeah. it's right there. And sometimes, you can find these little monkeys you just press that one button right there that says option one. You can find a bunch of these little monkeys that were in that village. Some who were there for the village to be exploded, some who weren't. And if they do ever get blown up again, They'll hear someone if they enter the door from their nice noise. Make it seem nice, but it's actually just a sign that you are going to be hunted down. Just like how if you enter the caves the ghosts haunt you, same thing with that basement. That basement was once part of that cave. And now, if you go in there, ghosts will haunt you. 
again. The same ghosts from before. Which is why you never blow up a village if your name is Tom, your friends. Okay? So if your name is Tom, don't blow up a tiny village with your friends named Billy, Jeffrey, Bob. Okay? That is the backstory of that village. Wow, that was actually very long. And, and uh, for that long backstory, I will give you another point five, which is an 8. But you got an 8 out of 10. Yahoo! Alright. Oh, 8 out of 10 is not bad. Alright, uh, hold up. Oh my gosh, my, my chin hurts so bad from going up and down and up and down and up yeah. and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Yep. Alright. That's Okay, that's your village. So, and the backstory.